Okay, guys, uh, Daddy did you win to the top five marathon list of his Midwest marathons. It's a great idea. So I thought I would do a top ten list of my marathons. I've done 100 marathons. Boy, this was tough, creating top ten list for this. Now, some of these marathons exist still. Some of them no longer exist. Um, or if they do exist, maybe it's a different location. Uh, but they have to be pretty good to be on my top ten. So number 10 is the HFM Maritime Marathon in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. This is a very nice out and back marathon near Lake Michigan. It's usually held in June. It's flat and fast. And most of the course is on a bike path right next to the lake. You get some great views. And when I did it, they had a nice uh, barbecue post-race. So definitely a nice one to check out. Number nine is Circulogic Marathon. Uh, the Circulogic Marathon version I am talking about is the one that was in West Lafayette. It was a beautiful park. Uh, we had a one-mile loop, and it was flat and fast. Now, the Circulogic Marathon still exists. It's in a new location, um, different race director, and I have not done the new uh, location race yet. But I have my number two and number three fastest marathon times of all time on the old Circulogic Marathon course. And I kind of treated it like running a 10K on the track. You know, there's 26 laps. We did the uh, the first lap, we did a little bit more to get that uh, marathon distance. And it was also nice having a, a the bib on the back of your shirt with your name on it so people can cheer you on as you pass them. Real nice marathon, it was low cost too. Nice, nice and cheap one. Number eight, Rockford Marathon in Rockford, Illinois. Um, I ran this marathon five times. Um, it was a huge win the very first time I ran it in 2010. Uh, I won airline tickets, and it paid a trip to Florida for spring break. Uh, we just had Natalie at the time, and she was young enough to fly free, so that was awesome. Uh, very nice bike path near the river that we ran on. Uh, it was always pretty well run. It was um, used to be held by the Chicago uh, event committee, but um, they didn't have any sponsors recently, and there's other things going on in the city, so they haven't had it in a few years, but there are talks of bringing it back soon, so maybe we'll see it in the future. Number seven, BG 26.2, Bowling Green, Kentucky. This course is tough. Uh, it's a double loop course. There's hills. Uh, Sometimes people are scared to run marathons with hills, but this one is very nice, and at the end, you'll be like, man, that was a good marathon. Um, it finishes right next to the minor league baseball stadium, and when I ran it, I mean, we had lots of goodie bags. We had a uh, gym bag, socks, shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, gloves, and also a great pasta meal, all that included in your race entry. So this is a real good marathon. It's hold in, held in November. Um, double loop course, like I said, and you run through some of the college. Number six, Erie Marathon at Pascal Isle and Erie, PA. You know, this marathon several years ago was a kind of a hidden secret, a hidden gem uh, for a nice September marathon. Uh, now that Boston Marathon entries are open in September, this race number has increased. They used to have a half marathon and a full. Well, because of the Boston Marathon entry in September, they dropped the half, and now they just have a full, and they cap it at 2,000 runners, I believe. And, you know, it is flat and fast course, double loop course, a real nice park, nice and shaded. And both my wife and I have ran this one, had incredible times. I, I went sub 240, uh, she went a sub 3 there and won it. And uh, very nice if you haven't ran that one. Number five, Monumental Marathon in Indy. The course is uh, pretty fast. Uh, I only ran it once, and I was a pacer, uh, pacing the 245 uh, Olympic girls trial times. And, you know, it takes you some uh, through some nice areas around Indy and sets you up for a real nice finish. Um, the reason why I have it at five is I was pacing, and uh, also it was kind of cold and uh, windy the day I ran it, but, you know, Overall, it's a real good marathon. 
Number four, Holland Haven Marathon in Holland, Michigan. Uh, Holland Haven is mostly on a bike path. It's mostly flat. It has some hills on the course, though. Uh, I have it number four for a few reasons. Uh, first off, it's usually a pretty friendly, uh, family-friendly. Uh, the post-race food, they allow your kids, spouse, um, to have the food uh, free of cost. So that's awesome. Not many marathons or races do that. And also, I have my marathon PER, uh, personal best time here. So, of course, I have it in my top five. You know, if you run a good time on a course, it has to be pretty good. Okay. Number three, Chickamauga Battlefield in Chickamauga, Georgia. Uh, this course uh, has, some, has some hills. It's a double loop course. Uh, however, you run through the whole battlefield at Chickamauga, and it is just um, incredible. The sights you see, you, you have statues along the course, uh, cannons. Uh, we even saw a few deer on the course. It was pretty awesome. Uh, if you need a Georgia Marathon, I highly recommend this one. Uh, I had an awesome race, beautiful morning when I ran it, and I won the marathon, and it was just an awesome experience. Number two, Boston Marathon. Boston Marathon is a marathon runners dream of. I mean, a lot of marathons train their whole life to qualify for Boston. I've only ran it once, and I didn't have my best time. Um, <clears throat> it was hot, and I wasn't run used to the 75-degree weather yet. The whole atmosphere at Boston, though, it just screams a runner's dream. I mean, there's a lot of things going on, um, good expo, and, you know, the race weather does determine if you're going to have a good race. There's been rainy weather, there's been hot weather, really cold weather. You just never know. But it's always fun to run the Boston Marathon. And number one, Chicago Marathon. I've never raced Chicago, but I've paced it three times. It's a really nice marathon, flat, fast, plenty of spots with crowds. Um, honestly, I think the Chicago Marathon had more crowds than Boston when I ran Boston. Um, and it never feels like I'm running a marathon in Chicago. You know, the, how the course flows, it just, you know, you, there's different areas you go through, like Chinatown, and it just feels like a big block party. I mean, it's it's awesome. And every time I've ran Chicago, pacing it, um, the people that i paced with, the runners have been uh, incredible. They've said, oh, you hit, we hit a PR, thanks. You know, it's just awesome feeling now these are my top 10 list um you know i've only done i've done 100 marathons and really tough to make top 10 because there's incredible marathons that i've ran i mean so if you didn't make the list it's not that i didn't like your marathon it, it was a tough call so this is just my top 10